Dalila was born in Durango. So I'm very proud of her as an immigrant. I deal with immigrants all the time. And she's a success story, a success immigrant story, not only for her family, but for all of us, because she's been a first in many things. I have wonderful parents. Uh, they came here quite some time ago. In fact, my father was in the Bracero program. After living here for numerous years, uh, we came here, all of the family, in the early 60s. She's one of eight children, and I know she's the first that went to college. At, at the time that I applied, Raul Vargas was the executive director, and he was like an angel that came to save and make my dream come true, because if it wasn't for the, at that time, MAAA scholarship, I wouldn't have been able to come to USC. So they not only assisted me financially, but I think most importantly, helped me my confidence that they believe that I have what it takes to succeed here. Well, as a Superior Court judge, and being the only Latina judge appointed by Governor, at that time, Schwarzenegger, that makes her unique in that she was that special, that she was appointed. Well, what's, what's interesting is that um, she has spent her entire career on the bench in criminal law, uh, but she was a civil lawyer before. So she was dealing with criminal content and criminal issues, but from the perspective of a civil lawyer. You know, she's got this beautiful smile and this very sort of serene way about her, but don't mess with her. She is definitely in charge, knows what's going on, has read the papers, and will keep the lawyers on their toes. I've been involved in the outreach committee, I think, since I became a judge. One of the things that we do in the committee is that we're trying to increase diversity on the bench. And I've always had a strong interest in education. I was uh, the president of the Vicki Carr Scholarship Foundation for numerous years because I wanted Hispanic kids to make sure they went to college like I did. It's hard to say what, what drives somebody else, but I can tell you that she is someone who really understands the importance of giving back to her community and that her community will not flourish unless she gives something in return. In Hebrew, we would call it tikkum olam, which is essentially means the healing or repairing of the world, that everyone has an obligation to make the world a better place. I believe that Judge Lyons really believes that. My proudest achievement today is my, are my kids. My twins, Monica and David, are my proudest achievements. She's amazing, and she can juggle, she can handle all the responsibilities of being a wife, a mother, and a judge. Still, today, I'm sitting in the bench, you know, have people before me, and I still says, I can't believe I have this job. It's, like I said, it's very humbling to be in that position, because you have a lot of power in deciding, uh, if you do criminal law, you have a lot of power in deciding people's liberty. That's the judge's decision, and that's a, a uh, powerful decision. People's liberty is very important. And if you have civil cases before you, you have a lot of impact. It is a, a very rewarding experience, but it is a decision that you make that has a lot of impact in how society really is, is, is dealt with. Judge Lyons can do whatever she wants. I will not be surprised if she goes up to the next level of court now that her kids are uh, off in college, that she becomes one of our judicial leaders. I will forever be indebted to this association, and I'm really serious about that because without it, there is no question about it, I would have never gone to USC. So the generosity of this university will ever be with me. I will forever be indebted.